Hello again, it's Joey John Maguire. I'm in the Half Moon, Weatherspoons pub. Uh, literally 30 seconds turn left uh, outside Stepney Underground Station. This is a wonderful pub, a very friendly pub, well managed, uh, lovely punters, uh, all off the estate across the road from it actually. It's not really a London City pub, it is a, more of an estate pub. Um, has two bars, one front of house, one back, uh, back of house. Yeah, nice big pub and it's got an outside go. Anyway, I'm sat in the worst seat in the house I think because I'm right on the front door so I have the draft, the traffic, a big light behind me from the daylight. It's a lovely sunny day out there in February. And uh, yeah, I couldn't have picked a worse seat but all the sockets are taken. Anyway, I'm about to recite my latest poem. Uh, written in the early hours of this morning. It's called About the Bridge. Try listening carefully. Can you hear the difference in the silence? Doesn't it have an eeriness as nothing you've heard before? Can you hear things that cannot really be there? Have we been consumed in the happenings, too engrossed with the d their distractions? Have we been blinded to the obvious that everything has its end? Were we so drunk we did not notice the changing of things, allowing events to move on without us? It seems time has been running parallel to our own perceptions, whilst with us it has been quickening, and a quick look over our shoulder will tell us that the only things visible are the vague shadows of our selective memories and nothing more. Last night my nightmares fair shook me to the bone as they reached a new level where I could see things that only dead men are allowed to see. I trespassed a sacred graveyard that resembled a battlefield where all the writhing zombie dead were duplicates of me, and ahead my pathway narrowed in a short cut, and through the misty haze, if I squinted, I could just make out the outline of what looked like me to be the make look to me to be the makings of a very fragile bridge that at best would hold the weight of one without burden of excess baggage not wide enough for two my friend just wide enough for me and so it is the bridge will soon be in full view beckoning like i'm an old friend which is why it is the time for you to find your own bridge, because this bridge has my name all over it. This bridge is mine, and although I have not the slightest idea of where it would lead, my heart is telling me it is the right way to go. No whips, no buts, it is time to say goodbye. There might well be nothing on the other side, or it might be there is a chance I'll be invited to live again. Whatever the outcome, when the time comes for you to miss me, raise your eyes upwards to the heavens and try to pretend or even believe that one of those heavenly stars above might well be me. Well, like I said, not... <laughs> without its destructions. But that's how I like it. And that wasn't easy to do. Joey Jumma.